The thing about New York City that was so fun was it was a melting pot. And uh, when I got to New York City, uh, when I started hanging out in New York, taking trains in with friends, I was about 13, 14. I had switched crowds, I had older friends, we would come into the city and, um, and it was a melting pot and I could, you know, it was, there were characters. It was, I guess, like what a Mardi Gras would, would be. And um, I found it really exciting. Back then, 42nd Street was very disgusting. Nothing like what you see today, nothing. It was, uh, you know, pimps, drug addicts, triple X films. There was like a whole block, I believe it was between 7th and 8th Avenue, that was all triple X films with flashing neon lights, you know, girls, 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 and, uh, and as you'd walk by, they'd go, hey, hey, you want some drugs? You want this? You want some weed? You want some? And a crack. And uh, it was just crazy. So after discovering the city and how fun it was by visiting uh, ages 13, 14, I ended up running away when I was 15. It was the tail end of a summer. Uh, a kid I met at camp ran away. And, I, you know, she was telling me about it. And I said, oh, can I come? And uh, I didn't give it much more thought than that. Uh, and I ran away to Greenwich Village and we stayed in um, the Hotel Earl. That's what it was called then. Um, and I discovered this, it was like a carnival. I, I just couldn't believe everything. It was so exciting. This big melting pot people from everywhere and musicians and it was stuck in this time warp because by then it was uh, 75 I believe and everybody looked like a hippie and um, they sold tie-dye shirts and they wore hip hugger pants and scarves were belts and um, you heard people playing acoustic guitar Bob Dylan you heard people playing Hendrix and Joni Mitchell and that was a time that I knew from my older sister's records. And uh, with my dad in radio, he brought home records all the time. So I, I loved the 60s music, and I loved the, the photos from the 60s that you'd see in magazines, and I felt like I'd missed my era. I was born at the wrong time. So being in Greenwich Village then was just, it was heavenly. And to be away from my parents, I had no rules. And I felt, you know, I had gotten my period at age 12 or 13, so I thought I was a woman now. And then after adult things had happened to me, uh, I felt like nobody should tell me what to do. And so I was completely free, and it was wonderful. And it was also flipped with this thing of me being a, a drug addict by then and drugs were so easy to get and um, sex was so fun there was no AIDS yet and I would just you know pick up a guy in the park say hey you want to come to my hotel smoke a joint I had no uh, I'm really lucky I, I didn't get you know uh, abducted chopped into little pieces and eaten I mean I was so naive I, I had little girl probably stamped on my head but I didn't know that and I thought I thought I was you know very hip chick and so I, I was lucky that certain